Hey guys, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. Uh, I wanted to go through the gear list for Handgun 201 for those of you who are considering attending and uh, give you a rundown of the things that you need to bring and why you should bring what we tell you to bring. So the first thing on that list is an open and teachable mind. I put that as the first thing on that list because I mean that. Uh, if you want to come to class, I hope that you want to come to class to learn. Otherwise, I'm not sure why you're coming. Uh, if you don't want to listen to me and, and do what I tell you to do, I guess you already paid me to teach you, so that, that's your loss. However, my goal in every class is that people would come away and learn things. Uh, I've taken a fair amount of classes, I've been doing this for a little bit, and I have some reasons for some things that I, I think is the right way to do things, and I'm not just making this stuff up. Uh, I'd be happy to tell you my reasons for doing things, but what I would ask in the, is that if you would come and take a class with me, that you would try it the way that I would suggest for today. And if after that you think it's garbage and crap, you can toss it out and do it in your own way. Uh, but I want you to come to class to learn. I want it to be a learning experience for you. And I, honestly, I want it to be a learning experience for me because over time, of course, I will teach things differently and I will change. And as I grow and learn and become a better shooter and a better teacher, uh, we'll change some things and we'll start to do some things differently because maybe there's a better method, maybe find a better way of teaching it, yada, yada, yada. So come to class and come to class ready to learn because I want to have a good learning environment and I want to equip you with the skills that you're here to get. The second thing on the list is a handgun, uh, 9mm to 45 ACP. I also put on there a G19 size or larger, and then a spare pistol is a good one, a good idea if you have one. So the reason I put a G19 size or larger is the class, as we're going to cover here in a minute, we shoot about 700 rounds, give or take. Uh, and therefore, that's a lot of shooting. That's a lot of shooting in a day. And if you have a gun smaller than a G19, you're going to feel it. By the end of the day, that gun's going to start to beat up on you a little bit. I'm not a big fan of single stack guns in general. I understand that some of us have to carry those because we have conditions where we can't carry a, a real gun, a G19 size or bigger, and that's fine. I, I get that. And if, and if all you have is your G43 or your shield or whatever and you want to come take the class with that, I'm not going to stop you. Uh, however, I would recommend strongly that you have a G19 size or larger, and we have some guns available that you can rent, so I'll rent that to you for free. Uh, so that you can come take the class. But a bigger gun is going to serve you, especially when we start shooting at longer distances. And by that I mean outside of 10 yards, you're really going to notice that, that full-size handguns are going to serve you really well in ways that those trimmed down guns are just not going to serve you. Second thing I, or third thing on the list is 700 rounds. Uh, we do a lot of shooting, okay? We're, we're loading or shooting all day. We do a lot of shooting because I want you to get as many good reps in as you possibly can. And you know, we don't always shoot all 700 rounds, but that's what I tell you to bring for the day. I also highly recommend that you bring brass cased ammunition. I've had some people bring steel cased ammunition and as we all know, and, and if you don't, you're about to find out, steel cased ammunition just is not as reliable and often causes more feeding issues. And it's very frustrating to be taking a training class and have equipment issues. I've had that myself where I've gone to take classes and had equipment issues. I was in a night class and uh, it was a rifle night class and two flashlights on two different rifles died during a night class with rifles. And that was a very frustrating experience with me and after that I went out and bought some new lights so that I didn't have that problem anymore. But I don't want you to come to class and struggle at class because you have equipment issues when you're trying to learn. That, that makes learning much more harder for you. It makes it harder for, for the class flow in general. And of course, you just leave with a frustrating experience. And brass cased ammunition really isn't that expensive. If for nine millimeter, you shouldn't be spending more than 19 cents around anyway. And steel cased ammunition just isn't gonna save you any money. Note taking gear. I, I tell you to bring note taking gear because I would expect and hope that you'd want to take notes at class. Whenever I go take classes, I come back with notebooks filled with notes because I'm writing down everything I can as fast as I can because I want to be able to review that later. I want to be able to retain it in the moment and I want to be able to continue to learn from that class after I leave it. So if you're going to pay money for a class, you're going to take a day or two or four or whatever and go take a class. I would recommend that you take notes and write things down so that you're able to maximize your learning experience. Holster. So a hard sided holster is required and by that I mean some, something Kydex or Kydex like or even leather if you really want. 
Uh, big fan of Kydex and, and Kydex like holsters. No uh, soft sided holsters. You shouldn't be taking a serious shooting class with a soft sided holster anyway. The problem, of course, there is that those can fold in, and when you go to holster your gun, it can catch on the trigger. Or, more than likely, what happens is people will hold the holster open, so you'll have to pry that nylon, soft nylon open, and then you'll flag yourself as you put the gun in there. Now, is there a way to holster that sucker without uh, flagging yourself? Yes, there is. However, soft sided holsters do not have the weapon retention that we're gonna need. And again, if we're shooting 700 rounds, think about how many draws that is during the day. It's, it's quite a few. And a Kydex or Kydex-like hard-sided holster is gonna serve you. It's, it's gonna pay for itself in just one day. Because you're doing these repetitive draws and holsters and reloads and whatever, and you're doing all these kinds of things that require you to have a holster, we also wear our guns all day. We load our guns up once uh, in the morning and then we wear them loaded the rest of the day. And having a solid holster is really gonna serve you both for your learning experience and just from a safety perspective so we don't have any accidental or negligent discharges. I carry my gun appendix when it comes to holsters. You can carry your gun however you want. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and recommend something on the waistline. If you're gonna carry your gun uh, on your ankle all day, that's gonna be difficult for you. I've never had anyone wanna show up with a shoulder holster. Uh, if you did, we could probably put you on the far left of the line and, and deal with that, but I wouldn't recommend that. I would recommend something on the, on the, on the waistline, right? And uh, either appendix, maybe strong side, or if you wanna go four o'clock in the back, that's fine too. But I don't have any restrictions about where or how you, you can wear that holster. Magazine pouches, look, you can carry mags in your pocket if you want, but again, a magazine pouch is gonna serve you a lot because we're gonna be reloading, we're doing a lot of manipulations with that gun today, so I would recommend bringing some kind of mag pouch. Seasonally appropriate clothing, we shoot rain or shine, wet or dry. Uh, I've taught classes in the rain. I've taught classes when it's like 40 degrees and like sleet raining. Uh, that wasn't fun, but we taught that class and we had a great time. So no matter what, no matter the weather, we are gonna shoot that day. I do not cancel because of weather, so bring whatever you gotta bring in order to function in that weather. A bag lunch and water, uh, we're not gonna have time to go out for lunch, so go ahead and bring lunch and lots of snacks and lots of water. Eye and ear protection, that one should be fairly obvious, but we're shooting guns, so you need to wear eyes and ears. I highly recommend electronic ears. Uh, you can find some on Amazon for like 50 bucks. Those Howard Light ones are great. Uh, electronic ears are gonna let you hear me and hear what else is going on around you and still have hearing protection against gunshots. Bug spray and suntan lotion, that's again pretty obvious. Bring bug spray and suntan lotion. We're gonna be outside all day shooting, so you'll need suntan lotion if it's, if it's warmer. And bug spray because usually we shoot in rural areas and they have bugs. At least four working magazines. Uh, I would recommend at least four, assuming you have a double stack gun. If you have a single stack gun, you're gonna need at least eight magazines. The reason we need at least that many magazines is we're all gonna load our magazines, we're gonna go out, we're gonna shoot some repetitions, and I base those repetitions on you having that many magazines. If you have less than that, then we have to reload more often, it slows the whole class down. So, please bring at least four magazines so that we can keep the flow of the class moving along. If you have more magazines, that just means you get to reload less during the day. Uh, a tactical light, so if you have a handheld tactical light, go ahead and bring that. This is not a night class, this is a class that takes place during the day. However, when we do single hand manipulations, uh, you'll have a chance to work that light and just get some dry run practice in with it. Uh, knee pads, for those of you who you know maybe have some knee issues or it hurts to kneel, I would recommend bring some knee pads because we're gonna spend some time kneeling. A lawn chair, uh, a lot of the classes I teach are in rural areas and so in between and on breaks and during lunch, it's nice to be able to sit down and uh, you need a chair in order to be able to do that and sometimes we don't have those, those available. So I highly recommend you bring your favorite lawn chair so that you can sit down and, and take a break uh, when we're on breaks. I do not have any prerequisites for this class. This is an introductory handgun class so we'll take you from zero to 60 as long as you are willing to learn and uh, willing to follow instructions. Hope to see you at Handgun 201. Thanks a lot.